Hey there, I'm Jack from Gina AI, and today we're going to build a simple search engine for fashion images using Gina's new Docaray library and Tortfusion. Docaray provides a data structure for unstructured data, like text, image, audio, video, 3D meshes, and lots more. Docaray can help you quickly embed, search, recommend, store, and transfer data using a Pythonic API. You can find out more at docaray.gina.ai. In this example, we'll build a simple search engine in Docaray with a limited data set, and in later videos, we'll build on that using Gina's neural search framework and hub executors, and improve results with Gina Fine Tuner. The end result will be similar to our fashion search engine at examples. .gina.ai, where you can upload an image of, say, your favorite sunglasses, and get similar sunglasses as search results. But for now, you can follow along with this tutorial using Google Colab or your own Jupyter Notebook instance. Links are in the description. Note that the contents of the notebook may be a little different from the video since we're constantly updating it. The end result will be a simple search engine in a notebook where you can define a query image as input and retrieve matches from the dataset as output. While it's simple now, in later videos, we'll add functionality and improve search results. Before we open the notebook though, let's frame the problem we're trying to solve. We want our search engine to find similar images based on the input image we give it. In our case, that would mean uploading, say, an image of a black t-shirt and getting similar black t-shirt images returned to us. We'll use the fashion products small dataset from Kaggle.com. This one is ideal because the images are small enough to process quickly, and there's a bunch of metadata which will come in handy when we expand upon our search engine later. You can easily download it with a Kaggle account. In our notebook, we'll just use a small subset. Now that we're in the notebook, we can get started playing with the code. First of all, we have to install our requirements, in this case, Docaray. Since we're not just dealing with text, we'll install its full dependencies. This gives us extra functionality for working with images, audio, and so on. Then we'll import document and document array from Docaray. Next, we'll download a small set of images from the dataset and load them into a document array using the from files method. Then let's see what we've got. As you can see, we have a grid of about 800 images of clothing. These images need to be processed before we can generate our vector embeddings. To do that, we'll write a pre-processing function to load our image URI into an image tensor, normalize shape and color, and set the channel axis. Then we can just apply that function on all the images in parallel with document arrays apply method. We're building our search engine to search for similar images. Of course, to understand what similarity means and how similar things are to each other, we need a neural network model. We'll just use the pre-trained ResNet 50 that comes bundled with Torch Vision. Let's install Torch Vision, use the GPU if available, load up our model, and then generate the vector embeddings for each image. You can visualize these embeddings with just one line of code, docs.plot embeddings. Now that we've generated embeddings for the 800 or so images in our dataset, we need to perform the same trick on the image we use as a search query. In short, everything that goes in or out of the model is a document or document array. Let's take one image from our full dataset, apply the same pre-processing to it, then generate a vector embedding using ResNet 50. Finally, to get the most similar images, we use the query image match method and pass it two parameters, the document array we want to match against, and how many results we want. The matching documents will be stored in a document array under the matches attribute. Previously, we performed pre-processing on each image to make it suitable for searching. We'll reverse that by once again using the document arrays apply method, and then we'll plot the matches to see what we got. Looking at the results, we can see ResNet50 has done a pretty good job with finding matches to our query image. If we'd searched a bigger dataset, we'd have better results still. In today's video, we built a simple search engine with Docaray. In later videos, we'll look at how you can improve and deploy your fashion search using Gina's neural search framework, 
make things easier by using Gina Hub's out-of-the-box executors, and improve your model's performance using Gina Fine Tuner. That's it from me. Stay tuned to this channel for more videos on using Gina. And we look forward to seeing you in our Slack community.